What is going on everyone? My name is Kodamore and welcome back to episode 10 of Web Development. In this episode, we are going to be talking about lists. Now, you can do many cool things with lists. And there are also many different types of lists that we are going to learn today. The first type of list is the unordered list, which is specified by the UL tag, unordered list tag. So in between the opening and closing UL tags, all you have to do is list out all of the items that you want to be in the list by using LI or list item tags. And in between an opening and a closing list item tag, you would have some item. So for instance, a dog. And you can do as many of these LI sets as you would like. So we can have a dog, a cat, what other animals are there? Um, a horse, maybe? Like so. And if we save this and reload our web page, we'll get a bulleted list with a dog, cat, and horse. And this is an unordered list. It's not in any specific order, it's just bullet points. In unordered lists, you can do a lot of cool things with them, especially with CSS that we're going to be learning in a few tutorials from now. Don't worry about that. Trust me, there are a lot of uses for these types of lists. Next, we are going to go on to the ordered list. So the ordered list is specified by the OL tag. So in between the opening and closing OL tag, we have all of our ordered list items. And they're specified the same way in between list item tags or LI tags. So say I want to uh, say what meals I have eaten. Well, I started with uh, breakfast, like so. And I'll copy this down two more times, like so. And we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How about that? I ate all these meals in order. If we save this and we open up our web page, we will see that we get a numbered list, one, two, three, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in order. Except you can do way more with ordered lists. You can do some really cool things. For instance, if you add the reversed attribute to the ordered list tag up here, and we reload our web page, you'll see that the list is in reverse order, three, two, one, instead of one, two, three. And of course, we can also do something really cool and specify the start. So if we specify the start uh, attribute, we can put what number or whatever we want to start with. So say I want to start at the number 17 and we save this, reload our web page, we get 17, 18, 19, the list started at 17. But one of the coolest things that you can do with ordered lists is you can specify the type. Now default, the type is one, two, three, or numbers, but we can also do say the alphabet. If we put a lowercase letter a in there, we are going to get a list that's all lowercase letters a, b, c in order of the alphabet. In turn, if we put an uppercase letter a in there and reloaded the web page, we get an uppercase list. And finally, if you put the letter i, uppercase or lowercase, you are going to get Roman numerals in uppercase or lowercase, whichever one that you put. So those are the basics of ordered lists. And again, we are going to do way more with lists in the future using many cool techniques that will allow us to do some cool things with them. But we have to learn about one final type of list, and that is the dictionary list, or the DL tag, dictionary list. Now, dictionary lists are determined a bit differently. They don't use list items. Instead, they use DT, or dictionary term items, and they also use dictionary definition tags, or DD tags. In a dictionary list, you must have a set of DT tags followed by a set of DD tags, and so on and so forth. The DT stands for the term that you're going to be defining. So this one's going to be term number one. And the definition will just put definition of term one, like so. And I'm going to copy this down just so we have more. And notice how we have DT, then a DD, then we have another DT tag followed by another DD tag. It's very important that you have the DT, DD, DT, DD order so that they alternate. And we'll say term number two, definition of term uh, two. And if we go ahead and reload our web page, we'll see that the terms are left justified and the definitions of them or the DD tags are indented by one and those are the definitions. That's what a definition list is. And again, we can do many, many, many more things with all of these types of lists that make them much cooler and much more useful. And that's why I'm teaching them to you guys. So go ahead, experiment with lists, get familiar with all three types of them, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.